Hello everyone, I am Antonio Harrison, and we have been waiting for so long. As you can see, I am not live streaming because my father, Marquis Harrison, subscribe to him on YouTube, he is still working on it. So let's give him as much time we can. So until then, I'm going to be recording instead of streaming. So, the game that we are going to be playing today on my Nintendo Switch is called The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because we have to review for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom which I'm going to show you about in my other video that I will post later on. But, um, before I start playing the game, I just want to tell you to um, like and subscribe and comment if it is um, able because YouTube can always disable it if they want to so I'm just going to give you that heads up because sometimes they might not able it so yeah um, it's okay so we're going to start playing um, the game and uh, I think right now so yeah like and subscribe if and, and you, you can comment if it's available but without further ado let's get into the game okay see can can all, all of you hear it you can hear it all right it's apparently working right now so yeah just like i said we we're going to be playing back of the wall today so let us get to the gaming so we are going to be starting off the Legends of the Breath of the Wild with my own profile because on the left is my personal profile to play whenever I want to. So this one um in the middle is my uh, is my um video channel um, my my video profile, and the one on the right don't even ask. That's one of my big brother if he wants to play it. So I just say that for him. But anyways, let's get to playing the game. I hope you all enjoy. And first of all, I want to thank Nintendo for giving us this game and Tears of the Kingdom. So I want to thank you very much, um, people of Nintendo of America. So let's get into the game. Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. Let's have a look at this and what this is. What is that? That is very bright, everyone. Be sure to block your eyes away from that because that is bright. Don't play this at night time. Open your eyes. There's something else to open our eyes. Open Who your eyes. Who is that? Wake up, Link. Link. Our favorite Zelda hero. What are you doing in here? Inside what looks like a hot tub, a bath. It looks very cool. This is like a big machine room or something. It's very fancy. And that looks like a stool or a, a pedestal. It's a pedestal. Alright, let's start this game. Now, first of all, I'm gonna move around. But this is the sprint button, wait, 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 which is B, and the jump button is X. I, don't, I do not like those controls. I'm gonna go to the controls. I'm going to do, do the options and then. 
change the jump button. And now the jump button is being pressed as well. So let's examine this. <clears throat> is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Sheikah Slate? Slumber? Slumber? So, you sleep in the bathtub? It's kinda weird. Or maybe it's not what it was actually was. Sheikah Slate. A mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Okay. Alright. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Okay. Okay, so she's telling us to put it on the pedestal. Ooh, a bright blue. I like it. Authenticating. That's a long word. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Must shine upon high rule once again. Now go. Okay. All right. We're gonna go. Sprint X. Standing there waiting to see us. Let's figure this out. Let's take a look around. Tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. Doesn't do much to damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Okay. I'm not sure that's going to be coming. found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. As you can see, there are three hearts in the top left. And my camera's in the way. Camera. Alright, let's move on. Okay, 
trees all around the high rule. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effects. Nice. Okay, let's have a talk with this guy. <laughs> oh ho, well met stranger. It is rather, rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question, that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be such a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. church mm. that temple there long ago it was the site of many sacred ceremonies like a church this church ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago it has sat abandoned in a state of decay i can see that mm. yet another forgotten entity a mere ghost of his former self I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of any service. Torch. This torch will stay lit once ignited. But if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Throw a weapon. Throw the weapon. Hmm? Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how may I ask, are you planning to use it? Should it be as a weapon or just to set things on fire? I don't know what, what I should pick, I'm just gonna say. It's a I see, well then do as you please. There are plenty of monsters ahead of here though. Remember that if you need a we use that we a weapon, if need be. <laughs> However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You, may, you must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Alright. And a baked apple. Direct heat as softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to, to restore three quarters of a heart. I beg your pardon? I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> oh, forgive me, I cannot resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent tree. Alright. There's an apple up there. Let's see. Alright. So, let us start to continue down the road in a little bit. I will be right back to see y'all, and we will continue this journey along this beautiful world. So I just found a, a woodcutter's axe. This might be useful on our journey, and we'll see why in a, in a little bit. Let's see what's here. It seems to be... But you can see me? I didn't know your kind to see the children of the forest. <laughs> well, if you wanted to have to, please return this to him. The Korok Sea. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Alright, so there are more Koroks out there. So we can find them. Out there. Find them. Yeah. <laughs> 
is that if you go to the in inventory and rotate him, oh wait, so on on the bottom right. If you look on the bottom right, you can see that you, you, you can, like, rotate them. So you can definitely do that. I can keep all of this. on going. I have just made it on top of the Temple of Time where I just found this soldier's bow. So I can use that and that will come in handy for sure. Let's see if I can actually get to the very, very, very top of the Temple of Time. So now the last part that I have to climb is this part right here. And <coughs> I died. I was so close. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I am about to try this again. If you look at the X on the bottom right of the map, <coughs> that X says that I have that's, that that is where I died. So this is why this is why I, I love the, um, the way that the kingdom is made. This is why. I mean, just look at how beautiful it is. And can you see that thing flying right there? A thing that we might figure out about that later, but not right now. Because, but that looks very, very interesting. We'll get to that later. 
Here's the castle. Some mountains, a bridge. We'll get to all of this later. And I've just got a rock, so that's a plus. We'll come back to this. We are very close to where we, to where we have to get to. At that yellow point marking uh, on the map on the bottom right of the screen. We're almost there, so let's keep going. Okay, I have finally made it to the tower after a long time and a lot of sour patches. Let's examine this. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. We went through this before. Tower activated. Wait a second. She could tower. So that is the Sheikah Tower. Great Plateau Tower. sour candies and they have their different colors of candy I think that the yellow one will be the most sour one of all of them regional map extracted Let's see what's happening here try Try to remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <sighs> the beast. When the beast regains true power, this world will face its end. You'll be right there, Zelda. I promise. All oh, the Sheikah Slate complete. So let's look at these other towers. Oh. Wait a minute. My controls have been acting up lately, so let me send me real quick. Alright, so let's see. Let's see which towers I want to go to. Oops. I'm going to start by going to this one, and then this one. What else? Right. Two more. Uh, okay. There's right there. 
let's say rain. There. Okay. That's good. Alright, I'll meet you guys back down at the tower. Alright, I just made it down the tower. Ho! Who's that? It's the old man! My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. Hmm. This tower and others, just like it, have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. <sighs> well now, a voice you say? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? <sighs> it seems they have some work to do as far as earning the trust goes. I suppose that is understandable. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity surrounding Eshrounding. And shrouding the okay, that, that is a long word. Castle. Mm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. They were festered, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Wow. Oh. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Yeah, I do. <clears throat> I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. Bad luck. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more, or more foolish. Yeah, I've went through that a couple of times. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Paraglider? <laughs> Woohoo, piqued your interest, haven't I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down on my own feathery wings, you know. Hmm. Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The isolated plateau. Huh. Come, let me show you something. Alright. I'm gonna give a little moment to myself and have this next hour touch. It's good. Oh. You see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? Oh, yeah, that looks crazy. It also began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose from the ground. <laughs> I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for a paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Alright. It seems like we're gonna have to go to the thing. Alright. See you there. I just made it to the Oman Omni Shop. I don't know how I was supposed to say that, but I'm just gonna say it. Turn to the map. Access granted. Okay. Alright, let's do this. I offer 
Magnus Trial. Magnesis Trial. Objects using magnetism. Oops. Sorry. Alright, let's figure out what we need to go. Put that out of here. and see where I went wrong. Alright, I finally made it to the end of the shrine. Let's see what's happening here. <clears throat> okay. Beautiful. You are proven to possess the path to resolve of the truth. Those who seek to defeat Ganon. Your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the goddess Hylia, allow, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. What is it? Please accept the spirit orb. Okay. The spirit orb, whatever the heck that is. Overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Laser. It's kind of creepy. But we're gonna get used to it. Maybe. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to. Let's see. Oh! Ah, the old man again. Get your hands on the spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. <clears throat> a hoe, or perhaps, or something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which, that which was once hidden from you can often be crystal clear. <laughs> perhaps that is not true for everyone. A ho ho. The appearance of the the appearance of those towers, and the awakening of the shrine. Hmm. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate that you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? Oh. <clears throat> it has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved the kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in the shrine. Huh. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all around the lands. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of these shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. So I need more now. Mm -hmm. I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one treasure. <clears throat> Whether it is one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? Oh, thank you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will all generous. I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. 
Hmm. It is always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of the tower again? Got it. <laughs> I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on Yoshika's lead. Hmm. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine that you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Sleep. Hmm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I don't know if it actually works as such. Alright, I am going to go to the other shrine and I will see you there. Ha <laughs> ha.
I just got back here. So I have found the bomb trial. So what I'm doing on this game now is I'm trying to go around the game so I can see what I need to progress through. I found the locations of the next shrines, so that way I'll be able to make this video more quickly. So thank you for doing that for me. And earlier in the video, if you just saw me I'm talking to you can hear me, I forgot to make that all that. So thank you. I'm gonna drop this right here. And boom! Tears of the Kingdom is coming in one month, so I wanted to review this game with you, so thanks for watching. Okay, so this is another spirit of And the goddess smile upon you, thank you. Alright, so let's get... Moving on to the next shrine, we are almost done, we just have to get two more shrines, and then the old man will give us the treasure, which is the paraglider. So, and then we'll be able to make our way to, 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 to chapter 2 later on. Maybe tomorrow? I'll start recording tomorrow. If yep. I have some time to Okay, so let's make our way to the next shrine. K Nam it shrine. I love how those like blue waves move when when he like travels. Alright. Oh and also I might may, may, maybe tomorrow I'll make a reaction to I'll make a reaction video to the trailer for the game. For, for the new game and the gameplay. So it's very cold out here, so I'm gonna need the warm duble that I found on top of that mountain up there. Alright, let's get going into the K Namit shrine. <clears throat> Yonis tribe. She can say it authenticated the stealing relic. So if you see that eye on the bottom of the rock, it looks like it's crying tears, and the sequel is called Tears of the Kingdom. So maybe it might have had something to something to do with the Shika. And then also, if you have seen the trailer, it looks like it has something to do with the Zonai. So maybe there's some mixture. But that's just my theory. Yeah, that's, that's just my, my theory. So we'll learn about that once the game actually comes out. May 12th, 2023. It's April for your order on the Nintendo Switch. But it's $70. And I do not think you can do And for that, 
I won the spirit time. May God smile upon you. Thank you very much. Okay, damn it. Alright. Y'all ready? This is going faster than I thought. Um, and, and to think, um, yesterday when, when I was recording, it took me so long to actually do it, it started to become tiring. So what I did was progress through, through the game before I started recording this morning. So that's what I did. So that way these videos are a lot quicker because as, as you can see, there is already like 48 minutes in the same time. I'm sorry for making the, this, this video too long. I apologize. This is just like my first time actually doing this um, kind of gameplay video. And also, um, okay. oh, a dame shrine. So also, while I'm recording this, I want to give a shout out to Eister2. I made a video of shouting out to him earlier. And, um, I ride with well, I, ride, I ride with him on the bus in my school, Twin Springs, and he makes some good edits and everything. He makes some good edits of sometimes anime. He started to play um, 2K23, the, the basketball game, and he gave a shout out to me. And he said that I'm gonna be um, playing this um, game. He, he said he said Zendaya. I said Zelda. I met him on the bus the other day. I said, I, I told him, I said Zelda. You said Zendaya. That made me laugh. Have you ever played a game with Zendaya in it? I started cracking up when I heard him say that. So yeah, shout out to Eister too. His, his actual name is Bryson Thompson. Shout out to Brennan Marshall, Brennan Marshall, and then Brendan Yoder. So I'm shouting out to those other other two. Also. So please subscribe to them because they make some really use it. They make some. They also make some good videos. Brendan Yoder tried to like um. He made a video of Prime for the first time. I don't really get it because I don't really get it. Prime is just not my type of drink, so sorry. And also, I'm not really a big fan of Takis, also. Takis are kind of a little much. That's, that's just my opinion. That's my opinion. So sorry about that. Alright. Stasis. So you can, like, freeze things. There are also some abilities like this in the sequel, but they're kind of different, and we will see why when it actually comes out. But until then, I just want to stop saying it and wait until we actually, I, I actually show it to you. And also, Nintendo and Illumination made the Mario World, so in honor of that, later on, videos I'm going to be streaming Super Mario Odyssey in honor of the Mario movies. Yeah. Okay, I got the Traveler Shield. That's the shield I've been looking for because these Boko shields have not been doing much for me. And I also found an Iron Sledgehammer, but I don't have no I don't have Use the sludge hammer to do this. Hit. As you can see, that, that that arrow is aggressively pulling to where the ball is about to go. Yeah. Alright, and we finally made it to the end of the shrine. Yes! We made it. Resourcefulness and overcoming this trials makes you the promise of a hero. And for that, I won the last of the Great Plateau. This was the final shrine, and I made it. May the guys smile upon you. Thank you. And we have finally gotten all the shrines. 
So now it's time for the old man to give us that paraglider, give us that treasure. Is it money? Money, 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 money. Alright. Oh! <laughs> there he is. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on the plateau. Oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> Extraordinary, you are still making me blush. Please stop. You know, just keep it coming. <laughs> that means it's finally time. You're right, it is. Link, it's finally time for me to tell you everything. First, first one. Hmm. Imagine an X on your map with the four. There's already an X on, on, on my map. It's where I died. With the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. Okay. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Whoa. disappeared suspiciously that was weird but anyways that was the last shrine and we were and we are going to go to wherever those lines intersect so normally there should be an x on your map that that would be a red x that that but that shows where you were going <laughs> Shoot them. Alright, that's all of them. I'm going to keep mine on the um, bomb rune because that one is kind of the most helpful against enemies. There are, uh, there are lots of enemies around Hyrule. Alright, just look at that volcano. Alright. Okay, so there's a shrine right there, that's Kanemet, and then Oedaim, Jabaj, and Omen Al. And they, and let's see what's in the center. Yes! The Temple of Time! We have to go to the church! I just, like, I just like to call it a church, okay? Don't, don't bug me about it, I just like to call it a church. That's what I call it. it because it looks like, because it looks like... A church. Don't look at me. Stop looking at me. Alright. Alright, let's get going to the Temple of Time. cute shirt. Look at him. Alright. Let's look in here and see what there is. Ooh! Okay, there's a stone of a fairy, and she's glowing. Let's pray. She's so pretty. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power. Okay. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what is that, what that is you desire. I think that I want a heart container because um, 
as you can see on the top left, I, I have only three hearts, and a lot of enemies have been getting on my nerves lately. So if I have an extra heart, that would be very helpful, so thank you. Thank you so much. Just what I needed. Heart Container! Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Thank you so much. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Thank you! Oh, it's him, the old man again. There you are. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. <laughs> here I am. Get up here, quickly. Why is he glowing green? He's glowing green? You know, if you look at the trailer of Tears of the Kingdom, there are also some green substance there are some um green sub substances i can ask you today there are green substances around the trailer so that might have something to do with this and also that mountain over there that is glowing green that height might also have something to do with the green too so We'll, we're going to have to figure that out when we react to the trailer and the uh, gameplay. Well, we've made it, so let's see what he has for us. Let's see. <laughs> well done there, young one. Thank you. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. Who are you? I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. You're the King of Hyrule? I was. The last leader of Hyrule. The last one. A kingdom which no longer exists. Whoa! <laughs> that bright screen again! <laughs> king Rome, the last king of Hyrule. And the and the video just made one hour. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. Okay. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. So you're just a spirit I did not think it king. wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So, a of the king. so rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Right. Forgive me. Oh, I forgive you because if you just showed I think you are the now ready. The game, I been ready to hear what happened 100 oh, years ago. Look at that castle, it's so red and pink. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. So that red, pinkish um, substance. Stories is of Ganon malice. were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. A prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Oh, wow. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, Guardians an army of mechanical okay. soldiers who fought autonomously. So is that the flying um, bird and the, This coincided and the with ancient on, legends you know? oft repeated throughout our land. So those are the so those are divine beasts. And that thing that we that also I learned of a princess with a sacred bomb power shrine. and her appointed knight chosen by the sword okay. that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. 
We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Uh-oh. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. And then that flying bird. Us. Those are the Divine Beasts. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Oh my. Link, you are our final help. She has powers. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. She has powers? That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. Zelda! I knew it! And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. Me? You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. Can't believe it. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. That's why I'm the like words of guidance you have old. been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. We can now let that happen. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter. I will. And do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I can tell. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. Okay. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Where the mountain is? Consult okay. the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Alright. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Okay, I will. Thank you, King Rome. Hmm. Go on, here is a paraglider just like I promised. Thank you so much, Paraglider! The isolated plateau complete! With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. Thank you, King Rome. <laughs> I told you everything I can. Thanks. Link, you must save Hyrule. I won't let, let you down, King Rome. Thank you for helping us. Alright, I guess our new objective is to seek out Impa. And that is the end of Breath of the Wild, Chapter 1, The Great Plateau. And that's it. So thank you all for joining me with this long 
video. I did not mean for it to be this long, but, um, I don't think that I'm going to get a lot of views from this because this is so long. But, um, I'll let you know that in, in the, the next episode, I'll try to make it a little bit shorter and faster. I don't know how, but I think that I'll manage. Maybe I might try to record, um, Chapter 2 tomorrow. But until then, I want you to like, subscribe, comment, if you can. And ring the notification bell button so you can see more from me. I am going to be um, singing Wish in the Well this weekend with, with, with my father. And then I'm going to start um, recording episode 3 of Living in My Own World. So thank you all for watching this gameplay. This long gameplay. And I will see you in the next video.